uh, compiler does in the sense it records sorry uh, compiler uh, it accepts the source program as high level language and converts it into assembly language that is zero and one a machine understandable language and in second chapter we have come to know about and in second chapter we have come to know about the assembly uh, sorry the assemblers which accepts such assembly language and uh, uh, converts it into object code how does it, uh, how does that uh, compiler uh, converts into assembly language we have seen several phases of the compilers that is lexical analysis and uh, le lexical analysis syntactical analysis semantic analysis and intermediate code generation and code optimization and object code generation these are the phases of the compilers and we have seen among these phases who were the front end and who were the back end the front end were the first three phases of the compilers that is lexical analysis and uh, semantic analysis and also the sorry lexical syntax and semantic analysis these were the first phases or these were the analysis phases and uh, the synthesis phases were the intermediate code and uh, the code generation that is the code optimization and object code generation and in assembly language we have seen how the object code is generated in assembly language we have seen how the object code is uh, assembly language in the sense assemblers using the assemblers we have seen how the object code is generated so how the object code is generated uh, in the previous class also i have given you uh, the design structure of the pass one and pass two and i have also solved the examples related with the literals and the examples related with, uh, excluding the literals means simple example and i have shown you how the uh, object code is generated uh, using the assemblers the assemblers require what type of source program the assembly language source program so we have seen such different examples and i have told you about the object codes exactly how does it generates so those were the assembly li assembly languages and we have seen some two programs that is the program 6th and program 7th uh, of uh, pass 1 and pass 2 and uh, today you can just have some glimpse on that by writing the test i'll just put the link so have the test on that have the test on that hello sir hello ha boliye sir ha aaj sab form lekar aate sir thoda class chal raha hai 10 to 10 uh, to 1 tak mera class hai sir aapka naam hai sir theek hai sir मैं आपको आके दे दूंगी क्योंकि जरकर सर बोले सो मैं का देने के लिए हाँ ठीक है ठीक है So the, uh, before moving on to the macros, uh, just I will forward here uh, the quiz link. It just it's a just glimpse on that, so you can test your knowledge how far you have understood. So second test. as i will post here in the chat box it's start working and start using this uh, link and uh, answer them is all of you start using this link this link is for the second chapters please
Since the time starts now, I'll give you half an hour time. Jitendra, Yogesh, Pranesh, Dikti Patil, all of you are there. Start answering. I think somebody has answered. Yes. Are you answering? Yogesh? Ashwarya? Yes, Yogesh, Ashwarya. Radhika, am I audible? Naveen, yes, answer your roll calls. One present, uh, right? Uh, answer the quiz, okay. Use the link to three. Four. Five. Present, ma'am. Uh, you are writing the quiz, na? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Six, present. Seven, present. Eight, nine, present, ma'am. Ten, eleven. Present, ma'am. Eleven. Ma'am, ten present. Ma'am, eight is present. Okay. Answering the question. Are you answering? Yes, ma'am. The link which I have given. Huh. The link which is in the chat box. This is how the link. Eleven. Present, ma'am. Twelve. Thirteen. Present, ma'am. Fourteen. Present, ma'am. Fifteen. Present, ma'am. Sixteen. Sixteen, 
सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन नाइनटीन मैम शी इज प्रेजेंट नाइनटीन प्रेजेंट प्रॉब्लम ओके ट्वेंटी प्रेजेंट ट्वेंटी वन प्रेजेंट ट्वेंटी टू प्रेजेंट मैम ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्रेजेंट मैम ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्रेजेंट मैम ट्वेंटी सेवन प्रेजेंट मैम ट्वेंटी एट Twenty eight present, ma'am. Twenty nine. Yes, ma'am. Thirty. Present, ma'am. Thirty one. Thirty two. Present. Thirty three. Present, ma'am. Thirty-four, present. Thirty-five, thirty-six, present, ma'am. Thirty-seven, present, ma'am. Thirty-eight, present, ma'am. Thirty-nine, forty, present, ma'am. Forty-one. Forty-two. Present, ma'am. Forty-three. Present, ma'am. Forty-four. Present, ma'am. Forty-five. Present, ma'am. Forty-six. Yes, ma'am. Forty-seven. Yes, ma'am. Forty-eight. Present, ma'am. Forty-nine. Present, ma'am. Fifty. Fifty-one. Ma'am, fifty is present, ma'am. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. Present. Fifty-four. Present. Fifty-five. Present. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Present. Fifty-eight. Present. Fifty-nine. Present. Sixty. Are you answering? Fifty-nine. Mukun. Fifty-eight. 
क्विज हैव यू आंसर्ड हेलो हां 59 59, हेलो मैडम फिफ्टी नाइन प्रेजेंट दिल्ली की ओके Sixty one. Present, ma'am. Sixty two. Sixty three. Sixty four. Sixty five. Present. Sixty-six. Sixty-seven. Present. Sixty-eight. Present. Sixty-nine. Present. Seventy. Present. Okay. I hope all of you have finished the test quiz. I'll just check these uh, responses. Only ten responses have been given. It will take uh, hardly only ten minutes. So still there are no responses. well so many students are here almost 59 students but only the response is 12 okay. i hope you all got the scoring also that is uh, but roll number you people are not entering compulsory how can you do like this next time i only should uh, I will update the roll numbers. F K J. Who is F K J? Wh whoever is written F K J, it will be marked as absent. Look at your responses. How you are writing your name and roll number? Is this your name? J B J F K J. I clearly mentioned there. Write your roll number and. Uh, name and some students without uh, name you have submitted so how to allocate the marks Whoever has given the blank, there are two blanks. Response is only twenty-eight. Well, we have a strength of fifty-nine students today. hope you all are uh, understood
41 responses only 40 55 response first two names are blank Almost all got good scoring. Two students got ten out of ten. Yogesh got ten out of ten. Prashant got ten out of ten. Pratik Deshpande nine. Mukund got ten. Then Ruthvij got nine. Here one name, no name, but got nine marks. And Sanika got ten, ten out of ten. Pratik also ten. Okay, all of you almost got good scoring. Now I hope its uh, strength was today's strength was fifty nine. So I must get the responses of the test as fifty uh, nine. It's completed. Okay, we'll move on to the next. Uh, some glimpses on the program I would like to show. Uh, as the first program, it says token identifiers. Identify the tokens, whatever you have written. So the first lab program as Lex without using Lex. Uh, without using Lex. Without using the Lex tool and the Yak tool, just I have tried here in C language using the Turbo C compiler. The in Turbo C compiler, uh, this is the program. It is framed for. I have framed that this actually you should do. I have told you very long back. Either you make choice of the C language or uh, sorry, make choice of the Turbo C or the Lex and Yak tool. And uh, if you go with the Lex and Yak tool, there totally uh, the running of the program uh, will be different. Only the step procedures in that are different. Like Lex file name dot L, you have to give, and again later you should uh, process by Lex. Because 
it uh, because it doesn't have lex has got only the lexical analysis it uh, takes the command of the c uh, it takes the processing of, of the lex with the c and then it executes the program whereas yak also does the same yak belongs to the second uh, second part second compiler phase that is the uh, parser it is called as parser is nothing but the syntax and yak follows the uh, lar parser okay so it belong yak belongs to the parser that is the syntax analyzer yak is called as the syntax analyzer lex is called as the lexical analyzer later they themselves uh, with the help of the c uh, c language they convert it into machine code c language in the sense they process with the help of the c tabs so the step procedures and all i have shown you in the previous classes and all but today the link uh, so today the tool which is used here is c tool so c language tool and this tool is simply a simple very simple program is being framed here i have taken all the keywords here uh, what i can uh, means uh, like small simple examples in a basic building block of a c tokens that is int float break long caret then for if then switch is also taken else then while how many i have taken here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the keywords which i have used here of 10 i have called them under the array of 10 and each of the size of the such keyword strings are nothing but 10 so entering the identifier and for each 10 it is compared with the keyword array whatever we have given what we give at the console screen at the output screen so these are compared both the strings are compared what we give a a is nothing but the string what we give at the console screen as the input so that input is a uh, compared with the this available keywords so if it is equal to if they are getting matched means it will raise the flag saying yes they are the keyword so you, for that raised the flag one we will call it by saying yes they are the keyword else they are not the keywords they can be called as the identifiers they can be called as identifiers to call them as the identifiers also what what you can give uh, identifier can begin by alpha numeric characters and also it will have some underscore and also it will be a combination of uh, alpha numeric so this is and to maximum how many characters it can take whatever the length you give once it sees the end of the line or end of that string it assumes that it is whatever the get string or whatever the input is given at the console screen to make it as the identifier once if it sees the end of the character by denoting as by backslash zero it assumes that it is the end of that particular string so that will be assumed as uh, here two cases i have taken the first beginning underscore it can be or it can be alpha numeric so this method and this one one more method it can be first the alpha numeric and later in between it can be the uh, underscore for this we have told it as the flag one to make it as the keyword it violates here the identifiers can be in between the underscore also else it can be flag one means it can be a keyword else other than that it should be only the identifiers so in this way i have framed this simple c program to make you to understand about the lex and yak so i will just run this program so here i like enter something like int you know very well that int 
this in the moment i press and enter it just uh, taken it as the input using the get s so this is considered to be as the string and int we have given them under the keyword of course it should answer as keyword so int is a keyword now if i give something int is a keyword int is not an identifier so once again to run to check with the other values sorry uh, other input i'll do something like asd which is not recognized by the program the program itself is done as token identifier it is called as token identifier so now it asd is something like a string which is uh, treated to be as an identifier so asd is something that is like a string that is not known to the uh, array what we have given in array some 10 keywords i have given so it is apart from that 10 keywords uh, keywords i have not given something like asd told it as a keyword and the c recognizes this as the identifier so in that way the algorithm is written so if something belong to that particular array what is being taken so that uh, segments are called as the keywords rest remaining will be uh, whatever the inputs are given it will be called as the uh, those strings are treated to be as the identifier even the identifier can also begin something like say for example max underscore one something like this so it is also an identifier so this is how the first program and uh, the next program which i have framed it uh, it is for the pass one which it should give you the uh, sorry the pass one which it should give you as the uh, assembly program the pass one which it should give you as the assembly program and pass two should give you the object code should give you as the object code so the another program of the assembler which i have framed as for actually it is very tough to understand you all so but still i made it and somewhat very easy uh, it is very hard to understand go to the algorithm of the past one here i have taken the files of f1 f2 and f3 what i have done in that I have already given the input file as the assembly because pass1 will take a source program as the assembly language. Pass1 will take a source program as the assembly language. So in this input to read for this program, for this program, I have already given in this input file as one assembly program. And it should pass one what does it does it identifies the literals it identifies the symbols in the program that means in the assembly language program and also it uh, not on a uh, pulls using the literal pool so that much complications we i have not done pass one what does it does it generates the intermediate code meanwhile it also uh, uh, meanwhile it also generates or constructs the uh, tables like it constructs the table of symbol table also it constructs the table of literal table also it constructs the table of literal pool table so that is all about the design part of the pass one but simple example is taken because literal pool i have not considered in this input file uh, uh, sorry input variable uh, little variables are not taken in this uh, input file only some simple example Mm. some symbols are taken in this i will just show you that how is that uh, your input file how the assembly program is made as the input for this program assembly program is made as the input for this program to design as the person so its duty is to identify only the symbol table so to, to identify the symbol table first in the program it processes the what are what type of in what type of lines are there in this input it has got start and i have given even the uh, not only start even i have given the word 
data uh, data type and reserver data type and byte data type actually while explaining i have told you about dc and uh, i mean ds ds used to take 01 code and dc used to take uh, dc used to take 02 code of the machine code so it also generates the machine code you all may be aware of that so here up table up table in the sense even i should i need to give for this program to run what are the codes which i have used in the input file like so start i must also denote it for this uh, program to understand that start has got zero because many assemblers many different assemblers will take different codes so even for uh, for this also for input program just uh, what are the codes are been used in that input file that is the assembly file that code also i need to mention in the op table this op table is nothing but it also reads after reading the input file it comes to the op table so that it recognizes what is that code based on that it has to generate the symbol table and the object code so you you shall see now uh, first let me show you how I, what are the inputs here which i have taken how i have taken the input for this check it out this is the input are you able to see yogesh pranish onkar just check start copy is a label i have given this as the program so this is the first version of 8086 program sorry 8085 program some programs here instead of move i have taken as load load some alpha again it say symbol add this one again it's a symbol and sub is again it's a symbol and st is a move to beta alpha and beta are treated to be as something here as the registers or they can also be treated as the symbol uh, but here i have taken it as the symbols alpha and beta are taken them as the symbol and uh, what i have done here add and sub i have done add and sub and later alpha and beta they have got the constants of this pattern okay they are treated to be as the one byte and one and two symbols are treated to be as the reserve byte and word beta is treated to be as the reserve word and the size is also given here so you can see how the processing of this Uh, it should go who are the symbols symbols are alpha 1 2 and beta are the symbols this should go to the symbol table this symbol table to go to the symbol table it will process during the write so how does it process during the reading of this algorithm once i run this uh, you should also see what the code i have given to know the code just see what uh, the Uh, file name I have given, op tab I have given. So let us see here in this op tab how it is. So see here for load I have given as zero. For store I have given as twenty three code. Add I have given as zero one. Sub as zero five. Why you may be wonder? No sub is zero two. this depends as you give the code but real assemblers they themselves have got their own code you need not to specify actually we are uh, virtually we are learning here what is the pass one what is the pass one design so here i'll just run the program before that let me compile 
the moment I we see run, so actually the symbol table, what we have given in this, just observe here what is the symbol table file which it has written. It has processed now. Symbol table. I have taken here the file name as syntap.txt. So now already the program has been processed and it is run. So just look into the symbol table. Symbol table, what, what it should be? Syntap, just look into the C. These are the symbol table and these are the locations which it has been generated. But uh, these locations are uh, uh, wrong locations as per my concerns. Why? Because why? Because it has not processed the locations. I'll create another one. Now just check out already the input uh, input program what we have given the input program we have given for this program this input program and uh, what is the opcode which I have given this opcode values I have given if you want I can change here sub I will make it as two but now it doesn't matter before running only I should have done. So now let us check uh, the sim tab. See, this is how the sim tab, which I have done in front of you only. Okay. Now I would like to change for uh, the opcode value for sub as 0 to opcode value and load as 0, 0, store as assume that 0, 2. 
स्टोर एज जीरो टू सॉरी स्टोर एज जीरो टू और लेट मी टेक सम डिफरेंट वन लोड कैटेगरी विल बी ऑफ अजिम दैट जीरो थ्री स्टोर कैटेगरी इज ऑफ जीरो Once again, shall we run the program? It's already run. Now check the symbol table. They are now changed. Something. Okay, this is how. But the symbol tables here in this example is not changed. In this program, I have not taken any literals. Literal values are not taken. If you identify the source input, if you identify the input here, literals are not taken. Only the symbols are being taken. So in this way, you can also put your own program. That day, what I have given uh, the another program in the journal. So that program also you can. run so this program whatever is been designed it is a generic program sorry it is not a generic it is only restricted to use only reserved reserved byte and uh, so you can also uh, orient this program into different way like uh, uh, what 8086 does okay. in this way i have done so in the next class i will be showing about the pass to where it shows the Uh, generation of object code. So this was the design of pass one. So today we shall start. So that is all about the glimpse of the previous classes. So you also perform the same programs. Uh, should I have to give you the journal? Yes. Should I have to give you the journal? योगेश ओंकार दीक्षा एस ओंकार हां देखो ओके फ्रॉम दैट जर्नल यू हैव टू फ्रेम योर ओन प्रोग्राम्स ओके आई विल पोस्ट टुडे इन द ग्रुप ओके एनी डाउट्स Shall I begin for the third unit, third chapter? In the first program, you have seen simple tokens, token identification. Only that program is also simple. Uh, we I have done only for keywords recognition and identifiers. not operator so you can also expand that program for operators and uh, uh, yeah other than that identifiers we have operators and keywords of the c uh, c units c tokens you can also expand in different ways to identify the tokens of the c in that in that way whenever it see a star whenever it see plus whenever it see some ampersand percentage so it should tell it as a operator and you can also categorize them into uh, like special operators also who comes under the special operators so you need to give them under the patterns 
so you look into the journal i will be giving today in the post so uh, shall i begin the third unit so third unit is of macros in the last class i have told you about what is a macro macro has got three components macro macro processors and a uh, simple example i want to tell here macros are nothing but your pre processive statements are also called as the macros pre processive statements which you use in c language who are the pre processive statements can anybody tell who are the pre processive statements is who are all the pre processive statements somebody has written here statement starting with the hash correct they are the pre processor statements and they are also called as the macros which processes the c so that some functions are there are there in that processors uh, like std io dot h in that what are the functions the functions like input functions and output functions like printf scanner are available in std io dot h so those are called as the pre processing sorry those are called as the macros macros processes some functions they replaces the functions whenever they are uh, called like say for example in c only uh, you are uh, you are calling the function something like very frequently uh, uh, print f scan f wherever you wanted wherever it's necessary so what it is replacing it is replacing your uh, your uh, strings or the sentence your io streams whatever is available in the in that function so using the macro that function is replaced that function is replaced wherever it is defined in the program so that is one example and also sometime you will be giving some global declaration using the hash defines so some global declaration something like you might be telling if you are doing some matrix problem if you are doing some matrix problem during that period you must you may declare something hash define column hash define some row you may be figuring them into two or three like that so those are also nothing but what the uh, macro definitions those definitions will carry the value of row and columns in that way, wherever they are called in the program so macro follows the three procedures its definitions the calling and substitutions so these are nothing but the three important steps or the components of the macros now in macro also we have different uh, parameters like uh, three types of parameters are there that is positional parameters keyword parameters and the default parameters macros what we have in macros also we have three types of parameters those three types of parameters are nothing but the are, are nothing but the positional keywords and default parameters so these parameters they themselves are special in allocating the Uh, actual values to the parameters how is the uh, i mean how is the example in the previous class i have told you the example of the macro suppose this is a macro macro and the name of the macro uh, which uh, i have not taken here but uh, it is i n c r i should have taken here according to your following 
macro macro name but here i have taken it down so here how many parameters i have used one two three parameters are being used and i have uh, done the body of the macro the body of the macro is told here as a move in register move r is taken move in register and percent reg and percent memory value so these two parameters are used reg and memory wall parameters are used so here what is being moved the memory value is being moved to the register the memory value is being moved to the register and it is being added with the another positional parameter that is incr it has been added and again it is being moved in the memory using this what is being moved into the memory whatever the resultant of this reg is there it is moved into the memory and end macro what is the name of the macro the name of the macro here is incr you should not be confused uh, actually why i have written in this way so actually macro macro name macro name is incr and what is the parameters which i have put uh, this particular example also resembles for the positional parameters while using them i can also use the parameters same as of these positional parameters the actual parameters can also be used by saying as incr inc uh, incr and uh, to this memory wall i can give some particular what i want to pass and to this uh, incr value second parameter suppose if i want to pass the value to this some other thing something like one or Uh, some uh, sorry direct not not direct values i want to pass the actual parameter something like a and for this reg something like b so this becomes something like positional parameter but it is an example and now i have not defined here who is positional who is the keyword parameters who is the default parameters you have actually three types of parameters in macros positional parameters keyword parameters and default parameters and default parameters so here the example what it is been taken only a macro name macro name is incr and the body of the macro is some more are and add two instructions and another one three instructions are been taken with their operands then end the macro end the macro the speciality of the macros they are nothing but they uses the shorthand versions of the programs and uh, also the speciality of the macros are they replaces the macro instructions they replaces what the macro instructions so that is what the macros and if i start uh, reading all these things whatever I have explained. It is uh, shown here in the slides, and we have also the notations concerning with the macros, expansions. Uh, it can be lexical substitution also. I will tell in the next class how the lexical uh, substitution takes place, how the lexical substitution takes place, and uh, how um, uh, we can see the expansion in that. Uh, based on the time control overflow, also I will be telling in the uh, next class. But uh, what we have in the macro, that is what I have told here. And also in the next class, uh, I'll be telling about with one particular example and uh, for the lab related design part of the macro vision so on. i hope you have come to know where the macros are used the macros are used in the uh, c programs also they are nothing but the pre processive statements and uh, they replaces the uh, macros by their functions macros actually they are nothing but the subroutines available in the macro names available in the macro names whenever those macro names are substituted in the program they are been called so that is macro definition macro calling 
and macro expansion. These three are nothing but the procedures of the macro. Here you see this example also. To do the example of a plus b, sorry, a minus b plus c, what I need to do? I need to calculate this or I need to evaluate this. So I am storing in first in this, uh, this small uh, program and here the macro name is used as a and no and uh, the parameters which are used as the x, y and z for uh, respectively a, b, c and uh, what I want to do here, I want to uh, calculate the uh, calculate this evaluation so something sub is there and uh, i have to uh, add also whatever is present in this result i will just do add it by the parameter z and uh, this uh, ago are called as the advanced type of the parameters their meaning i will be telling in the uh, next class Is there any student who has uh, given as uh, only the now also you can modify you can tell me the names that you have not entered the name is there any student who have not entered the name yes in the test I will modify here. Yes, is there any student? Is there any student who has not given the names for the test? Hello, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Our role number three present, ma'am. Role number due to which I am unable to give attendance. Have you done the test? No, ma'am. It is not accessible from my side. You log to it. Hello, ma'am. Button is mm. unable from my side. I try to give the test, but submit button is unable. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, ma'am. For me too. Ma'am, please uh, open the test for just ten minutes. We will give the test in ten minutes. Yeah, ma'am. We will give that in ten minutes. You can see the screen. Yeah, ma'am. This is what the screen. First, you need to enter your role number and name. What, ma'am? Enter your name and role number. Where, ma'am? Use the link. You wanted that link? Yeah, 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 ma'am. Hmm. I'll post once again. Can you see the link? The link which is in the chat box. Hello? Hello? Yeah, ma'am, yeah. Okay.
and whoever have given like uh, x y z, i mean some f k j uh, roll number 12 and 23 yeah you can tell your names i will modify here Hello. I'm in class. Okay, you mail me. Huh? I'm in class. Class. Ah, today is the last day for exam form. Hello, done, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for opening the test. Now, there is a student who has told uh, twenty-three, but no name, and uh, there are four blanks without name. Is there anybody who can tell that? Compare your score and tell me. I'll modify here. Who got nine? Who has not given me? Can you please see this picture? Can anybody tell this? Uh, I mean, can anybody do the past one here? Yes. On doing the past one, what you will get? the symbols yes how many are here the symbols just look into the forward reference this part so symbols are a a is the symbol Also, B is the symbol.
this can anybody tell how many are the literals here second line is the literal this is also the line literal these are going into the literal form these are going into the line of the literal form once the literal is encountered what will happen the literals start going in um, uh, the first literals pool get completed and they start getting the addresses they start getting the addresses mean location counter so it is given in book their answers i have truncated i have truncated you also can refer in the book and you can tell me the answers for this in the last class i have solved the other two examples related with the literals same example you can apply for this also and you can solve here it is starting the location counter is starting at 200 and always i have told you that if you want you can mention for the start also the the assembly code that is coding part intermediate code for assembler directories or else you can leave it what what you can leave assembler directories you can leave and also you can leave for end that is start and end and also for you can also leave it for what for ds the forward reference part also from here you can leave for the generation of the intermediate code now to begin here the first very location counter it begins at 200 this line and what would you get mor means 4 mor means 4 and it is which type of statement imperative statement next operand we have areg this belonging to code for 01 and areg is nothing but a register okay so 01 then for uh, equal to 5 it is nothing but a literal so this literal goes to the literal table Time being for this, its address no answer, so it goes to literal. Moving on, so defining this literal also from the literal table, you should tell us its index is one. It belongs to L. L means literal table. L comma zero one. Its index is zero one. Next, again the same fashion for all. Moving, its code is zero five. And it's an imperative statement. A R E G is again one, and A is a symbol. It goes to the symbol table, and it is the first index. And it is what the first index. So in this way, this is a simple example, so that we can solve. And here it is very important that this plus two, plus two defines for what? Yeah. Here once it sees the origin line, the origin line is indicated as DDS. L T O R G and O R G are indicated as DDS. And for uh, origin line, what does it tell? Origin line it increments the location counter by two. First, it define origin and L T O R G doesn't uh, take under the consideration of any uh, of any uh, object code formation. That is intermediate code formation. And uh, how does it increments for the next next line? Means it increments for the next line by having the by having the address of this. So loop was at where? Loop was at the address location, something like uh, as in that zero two. So 
So again, this also uh, would be more helpful if I solve it by pen and paper. And I will just keep the image after solving. So it would be more helpful for you if I solve it pen and paper. Meanwhile, you can also look into the this example. Why I have displayed again? Because I have posted in last two classes this figure in group. But nobody given answer for this. So for this also, I will come up. Uh, I will just solve and I will display the example. But before that, I told you to go through this, and uh, nobody gave on this any answers. No assignments were submitted for this answer. One figure I will be showing you now. The solid figure, which is of the matrix. Just I have scribbled now. Now three different uh, parameters. Just like that, only I have scribbled to understand you. Uh, positional parameter. First one positional parameter. Second one keyword parameter, and default parameter. For positional parameter, macro macro name I have given here as young one. And here, because you are showing you PPT again, you may feel like not understanding. So I. For this class also, I must come up with the solution only. So in this way, I will be just keeping the images. You can just see them because again solving here it takes time. In the previous to previous class, I was just solving using the keyboard. It used to take time. So here for this positional parameter, how can you call them these parameters as the positional parameters? Well, well, in a, a passing the actual parameter. Uh, you can pass what value you want to give for this. Suppose we have P1, P2, and P3. P1 wanted only the registered actual value, and P2 wanted only the value like A, and P3 wanted to be only the value like B. So if you interchange that, if you, if you interchange that, that interchange value will become a two to this. Parameters. So the, that time they cannot be called it as the positional parameter. Like say for example, positional parameter P1. I wanted only the value to be given as ARG. And positional parameter like P2, I wanted only the value to be given as A. So if you interchange among them, so that time it cannot be called it as the positional parameter. And in keyword parameters, in keyword you are given some Exact keyword value. I am passing the actual value, something like A. Here I have left blank. Why? Because while passing the actual value, I am passing the keyword like A. Here also I have taken the three examples, like uh, macro name M1 and uh, the three uh, keywords like P1, P2, and P3 uh, parameters. And related to that, for keyword parameters, for ampersand of P1, I want only the A, A to be as the keyword for this, and for ampersand 2, B to be as the keyword for this, and for ampersand 3, C to be as the keyword for this. These actual parameters are for these parameters as the 
as their keyword, fixed keywords. Now moving on to the default parameter. For default parameter, here also I have taken some two examples. Uh, positional parameter, P1 and P2 parameters. For this default, actually here, while the actual parameters, uh, while calling the macro, here I have given the blank. Here I have given the blank. So for this blank, whatever the default value is assigned during the parameter, formal parameter, during the formal parameter, that value will get as the default value for the uh, parameter called as 1. Now here, for parameter 2, actual value, uh, when it is called, it will be assigned as C. Here, the image I have not taken properly. Maybe it is truncated, but here it is. For B, I am passing the value as C. B takes the default value, whatever is B. But for parameter 1, it takes the default value, what is mentioned in the macro definition, like A. So these are the three uh, parameters. Further, we have the program only, the design part. Same like uh, in, I mean, macro, we need to study in terms of machine independent design options. So in terms of machine independent design options, we will be studying how, again, here, past time and past time macros are there. So in that class, I will be covering the uh, the design. Further, we will go about the design part. So today's class, uh, we have told you about uh, the macro definition. Again, uh, the same what we've been uh, overall uh, been told in the previous class. Like uh, in the previous class, I have told you about I have told you about the macros are used to provide the program generation facility and many programming language provide built-in facilities like in C and C++. Then go through this slide. Macro is a unit of specification for program generation through expansion. Macro consists of name, a set of formal parameters, and the body of the code. Use of macro name with a set of actual parameters is replaced by some code. That is what the code, may, which is given in the body of the macro, that itself is called as the macro expansion. I will not tell more on this. Directly, we will move on to the. And as this was the types, I have told positional parameter, keyword parameter, and also the uh, default specifications of the parameters. Uh, in mixed parameters, where we can mix all the three parameters, where we can mix all the three parameters into the. So that then it will be called as the mixed parameters. And uh, after the I mean, nested macro parameter means calling the macro in the macro, which is called as the nested parameter. So that follows the rule as last in first out. This you should remember. The called macro is called inner macro. Okay. The called macro is called as the inner macro. So the design of the macro processor, this is how, which I have was telling about the machine independent design option of the macro macro processors. The macros accepts an assembly program containing the definitions and the calls containing the definitions and calls and translate it into an assembly program which does not contain any macro definition or the call. So the program with the macro definitions and calls are written. So what does it do? It accepts the program, which is in the assembly. 
which accepts the program which is in the assembly containing the definitions and calls and translates them into the assembly program and translates them into the assembly programs which does not contain any macro definition because uh, it clearly come up with the assembly program and generates the target program because everything it gets solved during the macro processing everything it gets solved during the macro processing means whatever the macros are given they get substitu uh, substituted which is called as the macro expansion they are substituted and during the time of the generation of the assembly program that time and uh, that assembly program does not contain any macro definition or any uh, subroutine call in that so directly it will be an output file of the processed macro which will, which will be an assembly program only purely assembly program that will again it will be set to generate the uh, target program and you know very well that what the assembler does assembler goes with the pass one and pass two and then generates the target program and during the time of the pass one and pass two it generates the intermediate code and that intermediate representation which you call it as the machine code or the intermediate code and uh, which will help for the generation of the target code this is how this design option you need to understand which i was telling that after three uh, type of the parameter i will be telling focusing on the macro uh, processors that is the design option here this figure is very important to understand you what is here you should not think what the source file is what is the source file whatever is the language which is uh, it can be your c language it can be your uh, java language whatever their definitions are there whatever their programs are there those programs with the definitions with their uh, pre processing statements they themselves are called as the source program of the macro and once uh, how the processors are being used in that using their pre processing statements though are, those are processed that program is processed and that program of the processing anyhow uh, it has got the compilers and so it will compile that everything and it gives you an assembly language program and after generation of assembly language program you know very well that what the assemblers will do they will generate the target program here purely you should think just keep in mind the macro processes all the pre processes statements whatever may be the program language so but after processing it gives you an assembly language it gives you an assembly language and that assembly language will be free of calls subroutines and will be free of again something like substitution there won't be any substitution there won't be any call in the assembly language so that is how <coughs> the target program for the process it does so this design option you need to understand here one more example i have come up so to understand this example again you need to know here the little values that little values again with the solution i will be solving and i will just uh, display with the solution for you on the screen Okay. Uh, today we shall stop here uh, up to the design options of the macro macro processors macros and macro processors so what the source program for the macro any programming language itself is a source program and macro processor after processing it produces the assembly language it produces the assembly language and uh, that part of understanding is there will it will be coming across with the compilers also so that part of understanding of the macros is nothing but the macro processors we will be coming with the arrangement of compilers assemblers loaders linkers everything here also everything comes but the part of understanding for the macros is nothing but the macro and macro processors so i'll repeat once again the ro roll call so who are absent for the class and also i have told you that in between uh, that uh, there are few students who have not named
there are few students who have not been the total re uh, responses for the test which i have is of 69 uh, but among 69 there are two with the blank names so if you can do your blank names but uh, mine was the blank with the absent blank so i will modify here is there anybody and you have gave ma'am ha hello ma'am yes roll number 64 is Rule number 64, what you have done? My Attend test then. is given, but my name is not there. Uh, what is your score? What, ma'am? Tell me, what is your score? So that uh, how to identify? Now, from which system Eight, you have given with? Huh? Eight. 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 Uh, uh, what, can you tell the timing so that uh, because... How I I should identify here? Or uh, have you given any FKJ? Have you given any FKJ? No, ma'am. You have given totally blank. Huh? No, no, ma'am. I given the test, but uh, just one no hour name. ago, ma'am. Huh, huh. One hour ago. Name has also given. Hmm? Huh. Name you have not given. You got name is also given. Yes, ma'am. Na name also you have given. Yes, ma'am. But we will nick there. Okay. Problem abhi kya hai? Attendance nahi de. Sixty four. Eh? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll repeat the absent list. Absent list, and later again you will be having problems. So now only you just uh, clarify the absent list. Two is absent. Two, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Huh. Number two. Ha ha. Wait. First, let me repeat. Now yours. I will mark present. Four is absent. Eight is absent. Sixteen, seventeen, thirty-one, thirty-five, thirty-nine, forty-one. Then fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-six, sixty-two, and sixty-three. Sixty-six are absent. Ma'am, thirty-five is present. Ha. Uh -huh. Okay. Ma'am, fifty-one is present. Hello, ma'am. Fifty-one. Fifty-one. Ha. Uh, next. Sixty-eight. Ma'am, sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. I did not mark for sixty-eight. Next. Ma'am, ma'am, sixteen. Hmm. Fifty-six is present. Hmm. It roll number one. Sixty three considered, ma'am. Ha. Ha. Twenty nine. I did not repeat the twenty nine. No. Again, people are telling uh, what is not. Yes. Thirty nine. Three nine. Thirty nine. Ha. Anybody? Ma'am, twelve. Twelve. Again, you people unnecessarily are telling. I did not repeat it. Twelve as absent. Okay. Is that fine? Okay. We shall stop the class. Uh, or should I have to repeat once again? Four. Now four is absent. Seventeen is absent. Thirty-one is absent. Forty-one, fifty-two, forty-one present. Which one? Forty-one. Hmm. Fifty-two is absent. Fifty-six. Fifty-six present. Hmm. Then sixty-two is absent. Okay. Four seventeen. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am. Huh. Our hmm. number four present, but she has network issue, so she left the meeting. She is hmm. given attendance in chat box. Hmm. Okay. But few names are blank. What I should do, I don't know. 
and some of you have written as fkj xyz like that please for further test don't continue like that so tomorrow's class will be on the design options of the assemblers with this i'll stop the class thank you